community engagement for community planning is about the voices of the people and your desires and aspirations for your community. So on that note, I wonder if, if any of you here have been consulted with about um, any, of, any local issues. So if we could start here with Fred. Fred, have you been consulted with about any of the None local issues? None of the no. no. And do you think that y you would like to, to air your views? Well, it all depends if you put it to boot. Uh -huh. Isn't it? Yes, yes. Maybe it's nothing to do with me, maybe it's nothing to do with internet. Yes. It's a different thing. So, mm -hmm. therefore, it would be quite nice to have your input. Quite nice, yes. yes. What about you, David? Have you, have you been involved in any community? No, no, no. 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 And, and do you think if someone were to, you know, like we're doing, come into the nursing home and speak to you about local issues, you'd be interested? Oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Betty? Do you have you been consulted with at all about any community issues? No, no, none at all. And would you like to be involved? Would you like? Yes. Yes. So you would be quite happy for people to come into the home as we're doing and, and discuss local things with you? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. And do you think this type of meeting is acceptable for, for people within the care home rather than a survey or ticking boxes or, do you know, do you think this oh, is... Oh, yeah, uh, because somebody says something, it starts you off. Uh, you know. Discussing. Do you have any comments? Well, the, the St Lawrence Hall is where we hold our senior citizens' meeting once a month. There's not a resident uh, caretaker there anymore. With the result, we have to go in and sort of set things up where we did used to, but they have brought somebody in now sets out with chairs. But before we started our last meeting, a few of us went down and had to clean out the kitchen before we could you can start. Uh, so there's no cleaner? Well, it doesn't appear to be. Could we move over to the ladies from Auckland Lake? I know you have a village hall there as well. Um, any comments on your village hall? Well, we're very lucky because we have a good community. And we've got a hall which we use, a village hall, for def various fundraising things. And we've got the church hall which the church let us use. We have an over 60s group, a friendship group, which is very good. There's a lot of elderly people come to that. And um, I find that uh, it, it's very a good community spirit in Ockhamblay. But uh, to come here, I ha we rely on friends, you know, to bring us our transport to come to this hall. Lawrence Kirk is a bit difficult to get to from Ockhamblay, but uh, otherwise, you know, it's pretty good for buses, etc. And we have, as I say, lots of things going on, the WRI, the Church Guild, and there's always a coffee morning or... They're always raising funds for the community, and it's a very good community. Yeah. Can I come back to transport and maybe from the other ladies? Um, how do you find transportation in Auckland? Are there enough buses or community buses to get you out to the village? Well, the buses that are the best service goes north to Stonehaven. Very poor coming into Lawrence Kirk. So things that's held in Lawrence Kirk, we have to rely on friends or to get us here, and this is the main Burns village, yeah. so we really can't get to things by public transport at Lawrence Kirk. Yeah. There's, no, there's no, as Adelaide said, there's no buses. You know, you've got to rely on other people. Yeah. And do you think you miss out because of that? Do you think yeah. there are things, things that you would have come to in the village here in Lawrence Kirk? Is this me? Yes, I'm sure we do. Uh, I'm sure we do. Um, the bus, oh, the bu there is a bus service, but it's not good for for uh, anything here. Like today, we would never be able to do it here. You would have a long wait till, is it 25 to 5, I think that the, the bus is, and we would have been in here by 12 o'clock. Well, you can't kind of get to the banks, uh, into the bank with your wheelchair, not any of the banks. And it's the same, uh, I would say, in the shops. You can't get into the shop with your wheelchair because there's that much stuff lying about. 
right well. As I say, my husband had an amputation and was in a wheelchair before he, he died, and we used to have to come get a taxi and come round to Lawrence Kirk to the bank and, you know, go round the shops then. And he, it didn't matter what the weather was, he had to sit outside the bank and wait for me to come out, or if he needed to sign anything, I had to take it out for him to sign. Is that because there's no access? There's no access for wheelchairs. I'm, I'm talking about a year ago, you know, I don't know. I don't think it's any better now. But the toilet was a disgrace. It wasn't even open. And if he could have got in, there was a... Well, he wouldn't have got in cause if it had been open, because there's a step. And he had, you know, he had to do it outside. So these are the public toilets? The in public Lawrence toilets in Lawrence Kirk. Yes, well, we've, we've formed this uh, committee for the Men's Healthy Living. There's two of us come from Ockham Blade, that's Adelaide and myself, to represent Ockham Blade. And it's for all the villages around, there's about nine of them, I think. And we have got some people from each village to represent, you know, the village. And Ed Garrett, who's run it, he's trying to do a lot for the elderly. And he has done quite a bit, arranging art classes and different things for us, exercises. And uh, we also made a banner for the trip to Holyrood in, when they opened the new parliament, which was very good. I didn't go to that, but uh, they say it was very good. But um, it's, a, it's quite a good idea. And it's getting lonely people out, you know, people who don't go out. They can't go out, some of them. And it's very, I think it's very good.